Ah, found a wrench. Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I'll perform the miracle of turning liquid mercury into a solid at room temperature. So what you're witnessing is a miracle because uh, according to modern chemistry, you cannot solidify mercury. At room temperature it's just impossible to do it. Actually, I can explain this very easily with my modern chemistry. Here's a chart showing what happens when you mix mercury with copper, for instance. A small amount of copper will cause the mercury to freeze at room temperature. In fact, adding almost any other metal to mercury will increase its freezing point and turn it solid at room temperature. Such alloys are called amalgams. Ever wonder what goes in your teeth? That's a zinc-silver-mercury amalgam. Well, I guess they don't use those in teeth anymore. Since there is a group of people that are solidifying mercury at room temperature, claiming that it's magic, and then selling the product for a profit, I thought I'd uh, demystify this and produce some of my own using their same method. So, something that I've seen that's uh, common with their videos is they use copper, in the form of a copper sulfate, which I will also use. They could also use lead or tin, but uh, I'll use copper here. Let's uh, add some water to this to dissolve the copper. And I'm going to turn on my hot plate stir to get that mixed up. Uh, apparently this stir bar is too big. There we go. So now we have a solution of copper sulfate. This is copper, which has given two electrons to the sulfate ion to form a water-soluble compound. This is copper in the plus two oxidation state. But now, we want to form metallic copper, so we want to bring that oxidation state down to zero. We need an antioxidant. That's where our sorbic acid comes in. This is also known as vitamin C. It's found in uh, fruits and green vegetables. And it's extremely abundant in rose hips and green tea. So, let's just take a uh, spoonful of this here, transfer it over to the copper sulfate solution. As we put it in, we see a green color, which is a different oxidation state of the copper. And the solution uh, changes color a little bit more to darker as metallic copper is formed. Let's see my stir bar is having some trouble. <laughs> the stir bar is... Uh, unable to spin properly because it's running into that copper powder. So now I'm going to decant the remaining solution just so that we can see through it a little bit easier. And maybe wash it with a little bit of water. So now that we can see the copper a little bit better, I'm going to add the mercury. Uh, most people, when they're doing this, they would have... There's a cat on me. Most people would have added the mercury already, and the copper would have absorbed into the mercury as it formed. But I wanted you guys to be able to see them separately. So here we are, just a few drops of mercury down in the bottom. Now let's roll this around. So it can all react. mixing it to get all of the copper in contact with the mercury. You might be able to see glimpses of it every now and then. It has become a little bit less fluid. See, I've almost got all of the copper mixed with the mercury now. Looks like I got just a little bit too much mercury. Let's see, maybe I can Push it around a little. Yeah, you can definitely see it's a little bit hard and goopy. You know, I might be able to squeeze out the excess mercury. Alright, so I got rid of most of the water. So here's just the mercury. We're out onto some paper. Let's squeeze it through. Yeah, 
Yeah, just squeezes right on out. The harder I squeeze, the more mercury I can drive off. Okay, let's see what we got. It's like some uh, mercury in a semi solid state to me. It's kind of a consistency of dough. I can see why people would think that this has mystical properties. This stuff looks so weird. Look at this. <laughs> it's rather pretty. But it's just uh, copper mixed with mercury. Now, of course, this is just like copper particles which are coated in mercury. The copper hasn't fully dissolved into the mercury yet. Uh, once it does, it will eventually turn rock hard. In fact, I have some that I mixed up yesterday. Let me go get it and show you. And here it is. You can see I actually put it inside of a bottle and it kind of just dropped down into the bottom there, but now I can't get it back out, so I'm going to have to break the glass. So There it is. Solid chunk of mercury copper amalgam. A little bit oxidized. That's the copper doing the oxidizing, but if I scrape at it, you can see it is still shiny. Also, quite hard. <laughs> Just a little bit of copper makes it a solid at room temperature. Which means I can take this, form it into whatever shape I like, and I let it sit, and it will solidify into this. This is, of course, uh, the appeal of dental amalgam. You have something that you can mix up that's uh, kind of goopy and pliable, but after letting it sit for a while, maybe give it a little bit of squeeze, you can form something that's rock hard like this. In case you're wondering how I'm going to turn this back into mercury metal, well, just heat it up to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit and the mercury will boil right off. Of course, to get it all out, you would have to melt the copper. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Welds to itself. It's kind of cool. Maybe I can use this for something.